Welcome to the Elon Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is 16 to October 2024. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Please note that the content does not represent our opinions and is just a reflection of news items in public media. Elon Musk has unveiled ambitious plans to produce Tesla's Cybercab robotaxis, showcasing prototypes at a recent event. However, these plans face significant regulatory challenges in the United States. Current regulations prohibit vehicles without traditional driver controls, which includes the fully autonomous Cybercab models Musk envisions. This has raised questions about the feasibility of Musk's timeline, as Tesla may have overlooked regulatory hurdles that could impede its plans. The tension between innovation in autonomous vehicle technology and existing legal frameworks is evident, and Tesla will need to navigate these complexities to achieve its vision of widespread robotaxi deployment. Elon Musk's social media platform, X, formerly known as Twitter, is striving to boost its subscription revenue while reducing reliance on advertising. Since launching its subscription service, X Premium, in 2021, the platform has generated about $200 million in in-app purchase revenue. However, after App Store commissions, the net revenue is estimated at around $140 million. Despite a slow start, with only $11 million generated in the first three months after its relaunch, X is seeing potential growth, with September 2024 figures indicating $14.7 million in in in-app purchases. The company is exploring new revenue streams by incentivizing creators based on engagement, but previous actions have complicated its revenue strategy. Elon Musk is set to unveil Tesla's RoboTaxi at the We Robot event in Los Angeles, a pivotal moment for the company as it aims to lead the driverless car market. Tesla's market valuation stands at $755 billion, reflecting optimism about its potential in autonomous vehicles. However, Independent evaluations show that Tesla's full self-driving software still requires human intervention every 13 miles, posing challenges compared to competitors like Waymo, which has been offering fully driverless rides since 2020. Both Tesla and Waymo have adopted end-to-end neural networks for their self-driving systems, but each faces unique challenges in scaling and managing costs. Tim Urban shares his lifelong fascination with space and the significance of attending a recent SpaceX launch with his daughter. He reflects on the excitement of the Apollo missions and the decline in NASA's ambitions post-Cold War. The emergence of SpaceX reignited his hope for space travel, particularly with its focus on rocket reusability and the goal of colonizing Mars. On October 13, 2024, SpaceX conducted its fifth test launch of the Starship designed to be reusable and capable of carrying humans to Mars. Urban describes the emotional experience of watching the launch, emphasizing the pride and hope it inspires. Elon Musk and other wealthy individuals, like Larry Ellison, often use stock pledging to access cash without incurring capital gains taxes. Musk has pledged 88.3 million Tesla shares, valued at over $94 billion, as collateral for loans. This practice is common among billionaires, with 32 members of the Forbes 400 list identified as pledging stock for credit lines. While borrowing against shares provides liquidity, it raises concerns about potential margin calls, which can lead to forced sales and impact stock prices. Despite the risks, this strategy is cost-effective for billionaires, allowing them to leverage wealth while minimizing taxes. Elon Musk plans to sue the California Coastal Commission after it denied SpaceX's request to increase rocket launches from 36 to 50 annually. The decision was influenced by Musk's political statements, particularly his support for Republican causes. Commissioner Gretchen Newsom expressed concerns about Musk's rhetoric and its implications for SpaceX employees and the environment. Musk criticized the focus on his political activities, emphasizing that his social media posts are unrelated to the commission's responsibilities. Following the decision, Musk indicated he would file a lawsuit on First Amendment grounds, highlighting ongoing tensions with California officials. That's all for today's episode of the Elon Daily News. We hope you found these updates on Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink insightful. Remember to check the episode notes for links to all the stories covered. Join us again tomorrow for more news and insights. Until then, stay curious 
and keep exploring.